All right then guys, now that we have done most of the installation and stuff, I would like to continue on with opening our application in the browser. Before we continue on, if you like my content and you want to see more, there's a red button down below which says subscribe. So if you want to see more, just click on it and otherwise enjoy the video. Now Laravel comes with a pretty cool package called Artisan. And you basically can see Artisan as the command line interface of Laravel itself. Later on, you will get a better understanding how Artisan is and what you should do or could do with it. You could create classes without even writing a single line of code in your code editor. I assume that you guys have worked with PHP before where you basically could go into your local host and click on the right directory. So let's do that. So in our Google Chrome, let's write down localhost, hit enter. And you can see that this site cannot be reached because localhost refused it. Well, it's slightly different with the Laravel project since it's not located inside our HC docs. Think about it. What do we need in order to run PHP? Well, with PHP, we need to run XAMPP. But for Laravel, we don't need XAMPP. There's no connection between Laravel and XAMPP. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I even start it then? Besides creating classes and models in Artisan, there's also an option to open a project in the browser. So let's go back to our terminal. And right here, we need to go inside the directory of the project that we would like to open. So let's go to CD desktop. And inside our desktop, we want to CD into workspace. And inside our workspace, we want to CD into first project. Let's hit enter. Let's ls, just to be clear that we're in the right directory. All right. And in here, we basically need to write down PHP space artisan space. And what we want to say to artisan is that we need to serve. So basically to start running this project that we're in right now. So let's hit enter. And as you could see on our screen, our Laravel development server has started and you can see an HTTP link right here. So let's copy it. You could also command click on it, but then it will open in Safari for me. So let's hop back to Chrome. Let's replace localhost with the pad that we just had. And wow, our first Laravel project has been opened now, if we hop back to our terminal, you can see that it's not possible to do anything in the command line interface because it's serving at the moment. So if you want to perform other stuff inside the command line, you basically need to open a new tab. So let's, well, click on the plus symbol right here. And we have our new tab. To stop it from serving, we basically need to control Z. All right then, you can see that our Laravel project has been stopped. Let's hop back to Google Chrome, refresh it. And you can see that it won't stop refreshing because, well, we stopped serving it. You need to be aware that you can only use the PHP artisan serve inside a directory of a Laravel project. So let's get out of our first project by saying cd dot dot. We're back in our workspace. And right here, let's write down PHP artisan serve. And you can see that it's not possible to open PHP Artisan. Let me zoom in a little bit. The reason why this is happening is because the serve command is basically a shortcut for the PHP built-in web server, which will call the main of our application, which then will be run. Now, another good thing to remember is that by default, the HTTP server will listen to port 8000, as you could see right here. However, there might be a case where your port number 8000 is in use. And I can give you one example, and this is something that happened to me before. Let's say that you're working with API connections later on, and you have a Java project running on port number 8000. Next to your Java project, you want to run your Laravel project. What you basically need to do is to say PHP artisan serve again, but it won't work. So we can change that we can give our own port to artisan. We basically need to say php artisan surf space dash dash port is equal to whatever number you want. So let's say 8081. Hit enter. Well, obviously we need to go into the right directory, excuse me. So let's say cd first project and let's hit the arrow up button. 
till PHP Artisan Surf port is 8081. Let's hit enter. And we're starting our Laravel project on port number 8081. Let's copy it, go back to Chrome, hit it inside the URL, and you can see that we're running it on 8081. And this works fine. But what if you want to change it? Now, let's go back to our root directory. So let's write cd. And in here, we could basically say sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash hosts. And these are the hosts that we have. We could say 127.0.0.1 has a name of first project dot test. And let's get rid of the local host that we have. So let's do that. All right, control X, save it, say yes, enter. And let's do it one more time to see if it works. All right, let's copy first project test. Let's get out of it. Let's go back to Google Chrome. Let's write it inside our URL. Let's hit enter. And you can see that it works as well. So instead of having the IP address and our port, we could basically say first project.test.